Welcome to Yates Makes. Now I've been playing around in my sketchbook with text, text transfer, and made a really interesting discovery. Um, these text transfers, I've just been messing around, printing, collaging on top of where I've managed to transfer some text, and just, you know, as you do in your sketchbook, just enjoying life and working quite freely. And from there, kind of graduated, if you like, um, onto a more ambitious piece where if I zoom in a little bit you can see where I've got text running all through this image um, and where I've used text to build up tone in layers to create form. So if you're interested let's have a look. So what I've discovered is this that old newspapers so this one is from 1978 um, I can't even remember where I picked this newspaper up but um, you can you can find them at boot sales um, yard sales charity shops you probably get even get a job lot on on eBay or something but because of the print process that is a very kind of carbon heavy um, uh, print process and I should have remembered this should have realized from all my years doing a paper round as a kid coming home with like black fingertips every morning um, that you can peel off you don't even need to use any acrylic or any paint you can just place the newspaper onto the gel plate and with a little bit of pressure on the back you will leave this kind of faint imprint or faint kind of residue of the text the images onto the gel plate now as you see in a minute when you transfer not all of this lifts you get an even fainter copy but what I've been working on is this if you continue to layer up parts over the top of each other you can build areas of tone which as you'll see later on in the video is, is what I've been oh, pretty sort of ambitious and a bit of a mind-boggling kind of project I've been working on um, but it does work with a bit of patience so if you see this area, if I just keep laying successive pieces on, you can see that a patch, a patch of tone is building in, in this area. So this is really useful for backgrounds, etc. I don't know, I mean, you, you find your own applications for it. But um, if I now try and transfer this with some, some paint, or some gel medium just into a sketchbook page you'll you'll see how much of it actually transfers so I'm just going to try and pull this off of here with some what's this Amsterdam Naples yellow green and um, as I said before not all of it will lift but um, enough of it will that you could get some really interesting effects, starting points, collage material. You know, it depends on the sort of processes you like. But um, I'm sure you can bend your imaginations and, and think of an application. So, nice thin layer of acrylic going down there. I'll get my sketchbook. And I'm actually just going to put a little bit of weight on this as well and just leave it for five or ten minutes in hope that it pulls some of that off. There we go, pop a couple of books on there. I'm going to leave that for ten minutes. Okay, let's take a look. So you can see 
how much of the image has transferred there and and certainly where you layer up successive pieces of, of newspaper, newsprint, you, you're going to build some tone. Um, it's never going to be that saturated. Um, but what I have found is I can start afresh. I can just get more, keep adding and get some gel medium or some more paint and keep building up onto this. Um, what is interesting is you, it leaves a residue as well. Obviously, um, that if you try and repeat the process and, and transfer that again, it's, it's, it's not much is going to come off. Um, if you need to clean your plate, really easy to do with um, uh, baby oil and, and just a, a baby wipe, and, and that will just clean off in seconds. So um, let me put it on time lapse and, and just add a bit more to this and, and print back over, and so you can see how much tone we can build with a couple of layers. So, patching a little bit more on, and I'm transferring this with gel medium. Obviously, I need to keep it transparent so I don't cover up the layers I've already built. And there you go, a bit of a mess, but you can see, you know, the density of um, tone you can start building. Obviously, you will lose some kind of of the clarity and text as well. But you can stop at any stage you want, depending on how much clarity you want. Okay, I'm just going to leave this quick bit of footage in um, for those of you that are interested. So this is a quick laser copy transfer of an old pylon and I'm just transferring that over to have some fun building layers. Okay, from this point then you, you've got a nice surface to draw on, collage arm, print on more. You know, I'll just leave that bit of footage in. To, I was just doing some sketching straight over it. Okay, so on to the where this all led me in terms of a more ambitious project. So I was thinking, you know, what application could there be for building up these subtle layers of tone? And I thought, well, a portrait, a kind of tonal portrait would be fun, but a very soft and subtle one. Now, I absolutely love Cormac McCarthy as an author. He's one of my favourites. And um, I'm reading one of his more famous books again, um, you know, for a, give it a second run. Um, it's been a few years since I read it first, and so he's been kind of in my mind. I thought, well, I'll do a portrait of Cormac McCarthy. So this project started with, as you can see on the screen now, a kind of pencil drawing. You know, it's tonal, but it's quite soft. So I thought these would be a good range of tones to build up with this text technique. So what I did from there was scan that image and enlarge it printed it out onto A3 and all I'm doing here is putting a little bit of graphite on the back of that photocopy or that print out of the enlargement and I'm just trace transferring the main details from my drawing. I figured that I'd need a slight increase in scale in order just to make this kind of text technique a little bit more manageable. So having transferred or trace transferred the just the basic structure, I didn't want to have to draw it all out again, um, I'm now adding a little bit of tone in only to the main features because what I'm figuring is they're going to be really hard to achieve with the text transfer technique. So moving on, got all of that ready, put it to one side and what you see here is underneath my gel plate I've got a flipped version. So on, I can't remember like Windows Photo View or whatever, that scanned copy I did, I flipped it and I printed a further copy. The reason being is I wanted a guide and obviously if I used um, the copy I'd already used to trace transfer it was going to be the wrong way around when I came to print. Um, so I've laid this flipped copy underneath my gel plate and I'm just trying to patch in, layer up some areas of tone with this little scraps of newspaper that I'm kind of ripping, folding and manipulating to roughly the shapes I need. And you'll notice I've got a piece of um, white card there just poking out of the side, the left hand side of my um, of my gel plate. And that's just because, as you'll see in a second, it's much easier to sort of see what you're doing in terms of what has been transferred if you slide that bit of 
card in underneath and kind of block out that flipped image that I'm using as a guide. There you go, just seeing a good demonstration of how I was using that white just to block out and get a better idea of my the tones I was building. Okay, so the process is quite laborious and a little bit kind of hit and miss, but I kind of persevered with it and, um, you know, I'll speed it along now. You can see me patching in and, and see how the tones develop. Okay, so a beauty of this technique is um, what you can do at any point is kind of lift that, get your uh, image you're printing onto, and you can just kind of lay it over and offer it up, and it's not going to affect your image in any way. It just allows you to kind of assess your progress, and then, you know, you can then flip it back over and add a little more where you think you might need it, and get ready for your sort of first transfer layer. So there you go, offering it up again. And at this point I'm thinking, right, well, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna transfer this and then come back and put subsequent layers on. You know, you keep using gel medium as I'm doing here. It's transparent, you can build up. As long as you're on a heavy paper and I'm on a 300 uh, grams per square meter paper here. So it's gonna, it's gonna be able to withstand multiple layers of, of kind of gel medium transfer. So nice thin layer, flipping that over and just registering it over my image. Again, the beauty of the gel plate is it's transparent. It allows you to do this. Now, what you'll see me doing next is like slide a box underneath or a board and flip the whole thing over. I've kind of make a sandwich. So there's a box going in underneath and then a board goes on top, which allows me to flip the whole thing over and then I get a decent bit of pressure applied to that paper and then I weighed it down with some books. Now with the books weighing it down I, I left it a good half an hour and flipped it back and there you go. I was a little bit underwhelmed but on closer look you know this is only my first layer going down and actually the, the paper is quite textured as well. Um, you can see though I definitely got some of that tone transferred and um, you know what I went on to do if I zoom in there you can see clearly some some fonts showing through which is exactly what I was after so cleaned up my um, uh, gel plate and straight back in for my second layer and this is what you see me speeding through now here I'm using tracing paper just to cut the profile made a little stencil so that I can then really build up some heavier tone against that stencil again making one for the shadow on the face there ripping that ripping it with a ruler cutting it with scissors whatever i wanted a kind of rough edge so i tried to rip wherever i could and i'm just using that to mask off areas i want to keep clean and allows me to build up with a bit more control some darker areas so again you can see quite clearly there the the density of that tone that's building knowing that not all of that is going to transfer um i was a bit bolder this time so Again, happy with that layer that I'd built up. I kind of offered it up again just to get an idea of how it might look and inking up in or rolling up in some more gel medium, flipping that over and registering it over my image. Okay. Let's have a look how this is transferred. I kind of love the feeling of jeopardy <laughs> once you get a, a way into a piece of work. Um, it could just go wrong any second. Um, that's why we love it, right? So, you know, you can see the residue. But 
definitely building up some tone. He's going to need an eyebrow. Going to have to go back and look at that bit. But the kind of shadow that I wanted around this side, I only wanted it subtle. So that's fine so far. I like that little bit on the chin. So that's looking pretty good. It's kind of what I was hoping for. So yeah, a little bit of work to do here. Maybe just a bit more up here, just to bring that sort of wisps of hair on the top. But yeah, pleased with that. It's kind of what I had in mind. I do need some tone here. I've got like a patch of... I might just try and transfer that with the smaller plate. But definitely need a little tone there as well. But looking good so far. I'm going to just try and drop the camera down a bit closer so you can see how this sort of text, when you get up close, you can really see how. Wow, well, it's a strange little piece in there. It's going to have to stay there now. Um, how that text all layers up. It's only when you get really close you can see how subtle some of those tones that have built a sort of form in there. Cool. So all I did to finish this up was a, a tiny bit more transfer on the eyebrow, a couple of, couple of spots, and then just went back in with a HB pencil very lightly just to get a tiny bit more definition and tone in places. Um, and there I am, signing off and uh, spelling Cormac McCarthy wrong, by the way. I'll have to go and amend that. Oh, man, I really enjoyed that. That was a fun video to make as well. And, you know, as, as long as I've got newspaper, I ain't got loads of it, but enough to try a few more ideas. Um, but I think this is by far the most challenging thing I've tried uh, with the gel plate. Um, let's hope it inspires you to track down some newspaper yourself. If you enjoyed the video, you know, drop it a like drop me some comments below if you haven't already consider subscribing to the channel every little helps and i'll look forward to seeing you in a video soon ta-ta